everybody. It's a little bit later for me. Um, I'm Dion with the owner and artist at the Turquoise Cyrus and Matt is also here. Hello. We want to say hello to you guys. So um, I finished this piece on the front and on the other side called the Turquoise Cyrus. Um, no, no. Um, Home, trending, subscriptions. Um, on the top right hand corner, see my face? Top right hand yeah, side. Hi everybody, I'm so glad that you're here. Listen, I'm gonna actually get finished. Uh, we got a hashtag more Matt over on Instagram. Got Thank it. you. Uh, did you get it, babe? I got it. All right. Um, so here's what we're gonna do. I left this side section over here so I could do one more live with you because I ended up getting a few questions. How, again, did you paint both um, colors on at the same time? So as a little recap there, uh, Matthew, will you hand me that brush right there? The VIP? No. Nope. The other one. To the right. There it is. So I loaded two colors onto the brush. Guys, I have it wrapped in this so it doesn't dry out. Um, but until I can paint, until I can get it washed. I loaded the two colors onto the six inch brush called the VIP. This is the one from the turquoise eyes. I loaded the mint chip and the mermaid tail on the brush at the same time, put them out on my tray. Hi, Christine Varner. And then I just kind of blended them on there and so they overlap with each other. It's streaky right now and I know that. It's not gonna stay that way. So here we go, Matt. Whoop! I'm up on a step stool, by the way. Um, so I'm on a step stool. I've got a water bottle full of some watered down bohemian blue paint and a little bit of golden ticket in there, okay? There's a little bit of Golden Ticket in there. Um, golden Ticket is just a metallic that we offer as well. Hi guys, I see some familiar faces. Um, so I have my, my uh, water bottle here. It's a fine misting spray and then I have a brayer, which is a product by Iron Orchid Designs. So all I have left to do on this was this one side. Uh, this was the piece that I hand painted all the irises on the front that I called the turquoise iris. Uh, that's what I actually named it, never done that before. Um, but I'm super proud of the way that it looks. So I wanted to leave this side. The other thing is um, this watered down, I'm gonna literally spray it right here on top of this. Um, oh, Heather, I, well, I'm here now. Um, Lena was a lot of fun. Hopefully you can watch the replay there. Um, so just these products, this base coat is dry. I'm gonna end up spraying this on here, watered down, I'm gonna let that dry, and then tomorrow I wanna come back and add a white wax to it to completely soften it. Gives it a totally different look. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit crazy right now, and if this is your first time watching me, you're definitely gonna be thinking, Oh, I'm like, what's that? You're Henri. Why aren't you on your phone on that? You're commenting as Dion Woods, you stinker. I know, that's what's funny. Okay, so let me set these products in. Again, I'm on the step stool. Y'all bear with me. Um, let me set these down and shake my bottle of boho up at the little golden ticket. Uh, and I cannot wait to get this piece completely photographed and on the wall mat. We've got a I can't, I can't even lift this. You're going to have to do all this. I can't lift that thing. Well, you're going to have to get some help from those boys. And this, nothing's coming out. Here we go. Here we go. Don't get it on the front. I know. What was I thinking? I don't know. Sometimes I don't. True story. True story. I don't use my nice bottles when I add paint to them. I just don't. I just save the, the old hardware ones for that. And then this is just going to create like a little bit of water. Look at that. It looks absolutely freaky terrible. Don't panic. Don't panic. DIY is a clay-based paint. It works as a really good background. So I'm going to put this on. It's going to wash. It's going to give it a little bit of a water effect, drippy effect. It's going to, gravity's going to do its thing and take it down. And then I'm going to grab the brayer and create a little bit of texture as well. You just got to work quickly, you guys. It's nope. kind of psychedelic, kind of scary. You're kind of scared? It's kind of scary. <laughs> That's why we don't use red, right? That's why we don't use red or pink. Uh, no, I don't ever do red or pink when I'm dripping. So I'm gonna roll this down. Squeegee. It's like a, he calls it a squeegee, but you know what? It's not a sponge, but what's a squeegee? Is a squeegee? Squeegee's not a sponge. Oh, oh, never mind then. I remember we used one on the bathroom door when we lived with your mom while we were building. A squeegee? Yeah, we. I well, I had to clean the glass door with a squeegee every time. I, I remember. I remember one time. Yeah, you. 
Uh, we had a glass shower door, and this squeegee was hanging up in the shower. I didn't know what it was for. No. What, but I, but I did real soon. No, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, we were living with your mom, and she's like, you take a shower, you clean the door. I'm like, oh, every day. Okay. Love her. Love her. Loved living there with her. That was a really special time while we were building. But I'll never forget using the squeegee on the glass. So see, nobody needed to panic. No, nobody needs to panic. It's it's really um, even heavier. I mean, it's wet right now, but once it's dry, it's gonna look so much better, I promise. So it's a really simple technique. You just gotta move quickly. Um, once this is dry, I still wanna add a little bit more up here. Okay, hang on. Oh. Uh, clean the shower mat, hashtag. That's right. <laughs> I didn't have a choice either. No, you didn't have a choice. It was either if you want to take a shower in the shower, you have to clean it when you get out. Yeah. Yeah. So I took baths for a while. Yeah, you did not. That, that did not work out. You it did didn't work not. Out. Still had to clean the shower, just didn't have to use the squeegee. Uh, Life, health, and wellness has a question. It says, hi, do you think I could use this technique on my tabletop? Sure you can, absolutely. You just will have to figure out a way to get the water moving. Um, so it might be best for you to actually tilt the tabletop up so gravity gets a good, you know, gets a good little go. Thank you, Bethany Barnes. Gets, uh, so gravity takes Gravity does its thing rather it than it's just puddling on top of the table. Right. Yeah. Then you would really need a squeegee at that point. But you know what? That makes me remind, goes to remind me of what we're going to do tomorrow on Friday Night Live on, on Facebook. What? That'd be a little crazy. Facebook? Uh-huh. Tomorrow night for Friday Night Live. What are we doing? Um, I haven't told you yet. Oh. It's going to be a little bit crazy. I'm not doing anything. Am I? I don't. No, 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 you're not. Uh, Quita and I. Okay, so you see the difference that it makes? If you want to, you can go back and add just a little bit more. Um, and then once this dries, you can add the white wax, which is what I'm going to do. Hopefully tomorrow. Because I want to get tomorrow morning, I want to get this thing photographed. I'm so excited to show you the entire piece. The whole time I've been working on it, there's been like eight videos. Um, you've only seen sections of it. So I don't know that any of you have really seen the whole, because I haven't been able to really span back very far. I've been kind of trying to keep it a secret. Um, have you decided what your next piece will be? Maz, I have not. I have um, three pieces that I am trying to decide between. They're all, um, two of them are wardrobes, like small wardrobes, not, not nearly this big. Um, but I need to make that decision because come Saturday, we're going to need a new piece to work on, don't we? Uh, Life, Health, and Wellness had another question. What DIY seether would be best for my table? Oh, I would use Big Top, definitely. Big top. Big Kelly, top. Kelly Bang, she answered, she got that right. She got that right. Ding, well. ding, 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 ding. Uh, we're totally open to other opinions, but I would put several coats of Big Top on it. All right, several, so it's really several easy. Several is in two? Several is in three, probably, if it's a tabletop. Okay. So tricks. Yes. Okay, guys, so it's really simple. This is going to dry before you know it. It's a very, very thin coat. In this is a watered down Bohemian Blue. Um, what's the paint water ratio? Someone always asks me that. They don't know that I don't measure. <laughs> a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Yeah, so I know that I had, um, I know I had 12 ounces in it when I start, and I would say it's probably uh, 1 to 12 or 2 to 12 uh, part paint and 12 ounces of water. So, does that help? What kind of face was that? It's, guys, I'm just really like, you know, I just put it in. It's a it's a bad face. So thank you for the thumbs up, you guys. Thanks for showing up. It's a little bit later than normal, um, but I'm ready to get this piece finished. I'm totally done with the front and realized I did not finish the side. And so let's show you. Let's take show you exactly what we're going to do. You can tell, um, Matthew, let's shift it a little bit to the front. What are we shifting? To this piece to remind them. I mean, I think I can do it, but you may just make sure I don't fall. I can make sure I'm not on camera. You want to make sure you're not on camera. You're not. Um, okay. So, to remind you what the front was, that's perfect, honey. Thank you. Now, can we scoot this just a little bit? Which way? Just, just a little bit this way. I'll do it. Don't get okay. your hands off Okay. Of okay. You went too far for me. Stop right there. Stop right there. Okay, guys. So this is the front that's actually completely finished. It has golden ticket. Um, Heather Watson, thank you. Um, it has golden ticket on it. 
Um, we have Salty Kiss in here, and I finished the entire thing with white wax. Um, so, oh, you're part of my creative connection. Thank you so much. Uh, so, the entire front is finished, but what we ended up doing was putting Bohemian Blue and then um, covering it with the white wax. There's some gold that you can see kind of shimmering through, and the entire piece has four large panels that I've hand painted um, my irises on, which is why I have decided to call this piece the turquoise iris. So, uh, Naz Smithers, are you enjoying your 100 day lives? If so, will you keep doing it after the 100 days? That is so funny. We were just talking about this on the Facebook Live that I did a minute ago. Um, I had a guest on Facebook, and when I have a guest, I can't do a YouTube Live also, which is why I wasn't on here, but or why I'm doing two. Um, we were just talking about that. And you know when you do something for 90 days, it's supposed to be a habit. And so she was like, what are you going to do on day 101? And I said, I'm probably going to be right here. Because it's, if you do something every single day, at least for 90 days, it's supposed to train your brain. Um, and that's a really good way to pick up a good habit or to stop a bad one, right? So uh, my guess is on day 101, I may take one day off. Um, but I'm, I've been live uh, here three times today, um, but not on YouTube. So I do, um, I do live trainings, I do live coaching sessions, I do live calls on one-on-one, -on -one, so. Um, I like this. I, like I may this take one. a break, maybe. Country View, Alas, and I'm gonna use the voice I think that is trying to portray. Alas, the artist is like this chef, a little of this and a little of that. Who said that? <laughs> that was Country View. Country View? <laughs> Alas, Alas, the artist is like this chef. <laughs> you I sound like, like the chef in Ratatouille. I love I, that well, movie. You're trying to yeah, sound like the chef uh, in yeah. the it's Ratatouille. The, it's the French. <laughs> so, um, guys, with the, um, my whole point is trying to get the side to basically be cohesive with the front. So I always work in sections because I like to work with the paint being wet. So um, I have finished this this top section. I've got to you know get off my ladder and finish the bottom half. And then uh, tomorrow morning, I'm hoping to get in here after the gym and put my white wax on and get this babe out there on the staging wall and photograph it so you all can see the entire piece of this front. So um, part of the front, I meant to say. So you can see down here these panels and there's two lower panels that I painted for you all, all live right here on YouTube under the play with playlist called the turquoise iris. So um, I hope you can tune back in tomorrow will be Friday night live on Facebook only. So, um, but I'll be right back here Saturday to do a live probably around eight 30 central time. So I hope you can see, see me. Hope you enjoy me. Then <laughs> you all have a great night. Um, the famous franchise art assistant, Mateo. Ah, hey, we, we, we. <laughs> Good night, you guys. <laughs>